Welcome back to San Diego Market Movers. I'm your host, Jason Yoss. I'm here with Randy Castle. Randy, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you for good. asking. Today, our topic is really a basic one, but I hear it a lot. It's what do realtors do? What does a real estate agent do for their client? Randy, I want your opinion on this. What do they do? You know, and I've had, um, there's a lot of deboggle about this <laughs> and people go, Oh, I've, and I've, I've heard it say, Oh, they're, they're, um, they're professional door openers. Right. Fair or, enough, or this enough, or that. Right. And it's okay. kind of like, Oh, uh, they do a little bit more than that. I and it, so, it yeah, really right. depends on what kind of agent that you're actually getting, right. which is uh, why I tell my clients like, or, and anybody, anybody at all, like you should really interview three, three agents at least. Right. Right. So you got to see which one you partner with, which one your personality matches with. Right. And then um, I would say there's three key things that a okay. realtor will do for you. Um, the first one is protection. Okay. So they're going to protect your assets, protect, protect your assets. A good one. <laughs> Everybody needs protection, especially on their assets, especially on their assets. Right. Um, so protect your assets, make sure that your financials are in order, make sure mm -hmm. that you're being kept protected from um, your contingencies, protected from just anything that's going to come at you, any right. defaults in the property, mm -hmm. any liabilities, if you're a seller that can be put off onto the fire, right. um, that you want to disclose, disclose, disclose. So having somebody who disclose, 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 that's a, that's a good one. I definitely, yeah, definitely. So having, having an agent, um, that will actually help protect you. And agents carry something as well called errors and emissions Got insurance. Okay. So that's an additional protection um, right. against anything that might slip through, that a T that doesn't get crossed or an I that doesn't get dotted Got it. Um, in the contracts might slip through. So if it does get legal, you have an extra layer of protection that you carry already for the transaction. For the agent. And then on top of that, you have the brokerage as well. Got so. It that really comes down to really protecting your assets, got right? It, got it. Um, and then another thing would be knowledge. So right. you have to have somebody who knows the contracts inside and out, knows what they're who doing. can protect you because right. if they don't know what they're doing or, um, you know, sometimes even with newer agents and I've been a newer agent before, right. you know, you, you learn the hard way. How, how, long <laughs> have you, how long have you been in the real estate industry being a realtor? 10 years. I started in 2013. Rodeo. There yeah, we go. 2013. Absolutely. So this year I'm very, very excited to hit my 10 year mark. Love it. Um, Love it. Still doing it full time. And actually I just picked up my license in Arizona as well. And I took nice. my first listing in Arizona. Nice. So let's go. Now where about in Arizona? Is it Phoenix? Is it Tucson? Is it Prescott? Is it actually in the mountains, the white mountains. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I have my families from there. Uh, they've it. lived up there for a long time. So I love it. You know that, know the area. Well, I love it. I, just, I love Arizona. California. Yeah. It's California's cousin. So anyway, <laughs> wonderful to get your opinion. Wonderful to get your feedback on this, Randy. Thank you for joining us thank today. You. Really appreciate it. Hey, everybody, stay tuned. We'll see you next time on San Diego Market Movers.